Hello and welcome to Film Some Fast, the best fast film review show on the all on the internet. I don't know why the internet's up there, but my hand pointed to it, so that's where it is for now. So yeah, double episode today, you lucky sods. Uh, and this time, it's The World's End, uh, the final film in the Cornetto trilogy. I've done reviews of the other two, go back and watch them, link's right here. That was a lie. Uh, so yeah, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost have done this series. Uh, this trilogy, all the films aren't really related, uh, but, like they're all totally different, but similar-ish. Um, but yeah, in this one, Simon Pegg plays this drunk fella called Gary King, and yeah, he's this, he's this drunk bloke who's not really done out with his life, he was a bit of a rapscallion in his youth, and he's still a rapscallion now, and it, the film opens with him telling this story of how he like uh, tried this pub crawl called Golden Mile where they had to visit uh, 12 pubs in this little town called Newton Haven and have a pint at each and live to tell the tale and uh, yeah something inspires him to get the band back together and go, go on this pub crawl and finish it off because they didn't manage it in their youth and so all of them come back including Ed's character who's um, oh, I don't even remember his name I think it was Andrew but yeah, he's sober now, not for long, gets drunk, five shots. Well, that's after they find a robot in the toilet. Uh, th yeah, there's a robot in the pub that they have a fight with. And that's like the plot. I mean, it didn't really make a lot of sense to me at first. Like, there's a robot in the pub, they're all fighting the robots. Turns out everyone in the town's a robot. They don't like to be called robots. It's weird. But yeah. I mean, they, when we first go there, no one really recognised them. And they're like, what's going off here? It's only been a few years. People should know us. They don't. They're robots. And, uh, you know, I mean, I were a bit confused until the ending, really. It turns out the robots were being controlled by this alien fella and he was, he was penetrating their town uh, to try and help them join this intergalactic network because Earth was like the most rubbish uncivilised planet or something absolute rubbish either way Simon Pegg has an argument with him and he he sods off and then the world blows up so try and make sense of that because genuinely my explanation's been fine that's what happens yeah if you don't understand it I mean you know it was weird but at the same time I still like the film and I've preferred it to what fuzz only by smidgen but I did prefer it I didn't prefer it to Sean at Dead though. So, you know, yeah, I'm in a bit of a weird situation with this one. Well, yeah, blah, blah, blah. We get to World's End. Floor goes down. All these big thing opens up. There's robots. There's some old fella. There's Simon Pegg, or uh, Sean, sorry, having an argument with this talking light saying, oh, we're aliens. And he's like, oh, sod off. You know, it's just, yeah. There are a few callbacks to the other films, as expected. There are Cornetto in it. Um, there are a funny scene with the fence. There were some actors that were in the other films. Martin Freeman were in it. He had a bigger part in this one. Um, Martin Freeman from The Office, uh, UK, just to be clear. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it were all right. It had funny parts. And like I said, I did like it. You know... So, I, to rate this film, since I gave Hot Fuzz a 7 and I gave Shaun at Dead an 8, I'm going to have to say Hot Fuzz is now a 6 and World's End is a 7 and Shaun of the Dead is an 8 because I preferred this one and we don't, we don't do half ratings here because, I mean, what's the point of having this, a scale out of 10 if I'm going to give it 7.5? I might as well just do it out of 20, you know. So, Hot Fuzz 6, World's End 7... Sean at Dead 8. So yeah, that were it. Final verdict. That's everything I have to say. Overall, I like the trilogy. And... Yeah, that's it. Cheers.